Hello, welcome to the Wellness Wake Up. Today's program is going to offer a little bit more challenge as the exercises progress from basic strengthening and mobility to performing a sit to stand. Now don't be concerned if you are having difficulty performing a sit to stand, you can certainly use the armrest on your chair or use one of the adaptions that we will be demonstrating. So work at your own pace and let's get started. We're going to begin with a nice sturdy chair from your room and I'm going to ask you to actually sit all the way back against the backrest because this is going to be our starting point. We're going to begin by using the muscles in our midsection to lift our back away from that backrest and get that sense of lifting up and sitting tall in your seat and then gently sink back against the backrest. We'll practice that a few more times just to warm up those muscles that we use to initiate that ability to come forward in the chair and rise to a stand. Lifting away from the backrest and sinking back and one more time lifting away. Now we're going to stay tall with the back away from the backrest and start to shift body weight a little bit side to side. Now as we're shifting the body weight you'll notice I'm actually pushing on those armrests of my chair. That's helping me to transfer that weight and get that little bit of a lift. I'm going to use that now to gradually walk the hips forward in the seat. You'll notice that as you come forward, you'll want to reposition your feet on the floor so that they're nice and grounded in front of you. Arms can come to rest at your lap. So now we're forward in the chair. We're going to start by taking one arm and reaching behind the back. Use the back of the hand as if you were tucking your shirt into your pants. Come back and do the same with the opposite side. So this is helping us to warm up our shoulder because we're always reaching for the armrest of the chair before we have a seat. So we want to make sure we have that range of motion available in the shoulder joint. And come back around. Now bring the hands to the abdomen. Again, addressing shoulder range of motion, we're going to lift up the arms, bring the back of the hand to the forehead, and then return back to the abdomen. So we're touching on those muscles that make up the rotator cuff in our shoulder. And we want to make sure that we have good movement there. One more time. Next we bring the elbows to our side, our palms facing each other. Hug your side with the elbows, squeezing the shoulders, open the arms, and come back in again. Once again, working on the muscles in our core and our shoulders. And one last time. And back. Now bring your hands to the armrest of the chair. Simply put a little bit of downward pressure and release. And again, a little bit of downward pressure and we're going to try that twice more just to start to feel that sensation of making contact with the armrest and pressing the feet into the floor. And release. Reaching underneath one knee, lifting it from the floor. Now I'm just going to give a little lift and lower, hanging onto that knee, warming up those hips. And one more time, up and down. And then switching sides. So we've got a lot of different joints and muscles that come together that help us to lift ourselves out of a chair. So we're going to work them individually and then together as a chain. And lower. Now hover one foot from the floor, extend that leg and bend it. Reach out as far as you can, but then also bend that knee as far as you can. Range of motion. Return your foot to the floor, lifting the other foot, just hovering it, extending and bending, going through a nice range of motion. You'll need that to come to a complete stand and straighten your legs. 
and one more time. And then return the foot to the floor. Now bring the feet forward just a wee bit so you can pull your toes off of the floor and then pivot both heels to open the knees and open the hips and pivot back together. So like windshield wipers out and in. And once more and return to the center. Allow your feet to touch down. Now we're going to place the hands on the armrest of the chair. Pick up one leg, take a broad step out and plant that foot nice and firm. Move it back in. We're going to progress with this movement and add a little bit each time we do it. Now I'm going to step out, plant my foot and then take that opposite arm across and look to the side of my apartment. Come back, bring the foot in and repeat. Step out, turn, come back to the center. Little by little working on the range of motion here. One more time, step out, rotate, come back to center. Now let's try with the opposite side. So we'll start just with the step out by itself, come back to the center. And again, placing your foot directly underneath your knee to keep all those joints in alignment. Next, we step out, rotate, come back to the center, and return. Think of getting in and out of a car. And once more, here's the hip joint, here's my trunk, and my shoulder girdle all working together. Progressing just one step further, take a step out, hold on to your armrest because you're going to bring the opposite leg across also. Come back to the center one leg at a time. We'll repeat to the same side. So we'll take that first step, plant the foot, and then the second step, come back to the center, and we'll try the other side. And you'll notice that I'm pressing down a little bit on those armrests. That's to help take some of the weight out of the hips. Lift and swing across. Return to the center. And once more, initial step, follow step, and returning to the center. And take a little breather. We'll be moving on by varying our base of support. And our base of support has a lot to do with our balance and where we have the best stance to perform a task from. So we're going to start with a narrow base of support. That means that your feet are very close together and your knees are close together. Now if we were to stand up from here, we would be a bit wobbly. So we're going to widen that base of support a little just by taking a small step open with each foot. Hands are on the knees. Bring your chest forward like you're leaning in to tell me a secret and then push yourself back up and move those feet back to that narrow base of support. We're going to try that once more. Start by broadening the base of support. Bring your nose out over your toes. Come back up tall and move those feet in again side by side. Once more the feet move out, nose over the toes, shift the weight forward, come back to your center and move those feet all the way back in. Now we're going to progress to adding that sit to stand and I'm going to invite you to either boost up with your armrest or hands on the lap or even hands on your chair. Initially we're not going to rise from the chair. I just want you to get that sensation of how to engage those muscles. So step by step, broaden that base of support a little bit. Hands are in position wherever you prefer to have them. Now press your feet into the floor, press down with your hands and just take the weight out of your buttocks without standing up. And then release and recover for a moment. We're going to try it again. Start with the feet all the way in. We first broaden that base of support so we go a little bit wider. Hands in position, nose over toes. Give that little boost 
and then let the weight come back down with control and move the feet all the way back in. So let's try to get a little bit of air between our buttocks and the seat of our chair this time. So it's going to be a little higher boost. So we step out to broaden the base of support. Make sure you feel the floor under your feet. Hands in place, nose over toes, a little more of a boost. See if we can get those hips up and hold for a moment there. That takes some strength. And then easing down without the plop and stepping back in with both feet. And we'll do another one. So we broaden the base first. Hinging forward, get your hands into place. Press down with those feet, press down with those hands. Hover just briefly. Ease back down and step the feet all the way in. Now, if you prefer not to do the full sit to stand, you're going to do the move we just did in place of it. And that will be perfectly fine because that will build strength for you as well. But if you'd like to go for the full sit to stand, let's try it together. First step, we broaden that base of support a little bit. Have our hands in place. Body is tall. Hinge forward. Press down with the feet. Press with the arms. And up we go. Now we're up, we're going to tighten the buttocks muscles so we stretch the hips and we're going to turn and look over our shoulder. Make sure you can spot your chair. Turn the other way, look over the shoulder. Come forward. Now here's that shoulder range of motion. Reach back for those armrests so you can feel them as you lower yourself with control back to your seat. And you've just completed a sit to stand. Let's try another one together. We'll start with the feet all the way in and then broaden the base of support. Hinge forward, nose over toes, hands in place where you prefer them. Press those feet into the floor, press with the arms coming up. Tighten the buttocks. Spot your chair. Turn and spot your chair. Come forward. Arms reach back to feel for those armrests, and we lower with control all the way down. Now I bet you're up for just a touch more challenge. So we're going to put those moves all together as we talked about earlier. Sit all the way back in your chair. Let your back meet the backrest. First thing we'll do is lift our back off of that backrest. If you're using your armrest, your hands are in place and you start to shift your weight side to side and tug each hip forward a little bit at a time so that you're walking your hips forward in the chair. Now if you want to check to make sure you came forward, you're going to reach back like you're tucking in your shirt. There's plenty of space. Reach back. Come back to the front. Broaden your base of support. Hands in place. Sit tall. Hinge forward. Nose over toes. Push down. Drive the feet into the floor. We come up. Buttocks tightens. We turn to find the chair. And again, turn spot your chair. Arms reach back to find those armrests as we lower with control to the chair. And recover. Take a little breather. That was a lot of work, but we're going to do it one more time. So we start by moving the legs in side by side. Backwards, walk those hips deep into the chair. Make contact with the backrest. And then start from the beginning. Lift the back off of the chair, sitting tall. Hands in place if you're using the armrest. Side to side movement to get us started. Hinge from the hips and walk them forward. Broaden that base of support. Check for clearance. You can even use both hands back here. Make sure you're away from the backrest of the chair. Hands in place on the armrest. Feet press firmly to the floor, nose over toes, and up we go. Tightening the buttocks is going to stretch these muscles that tend to get very tight. We're going to rotate. Find your chair, rotate, find the chair, center that body, reach for the armrest, slowly lower with control, all the way down, 
and take a little breather. Now to complement those sit to stands, a little bit more strengthening for the hip and the thigh. While we have our feet in this open position, I'm going to start by taking one ankle and bringing it across to tap the opposite shin bone. Come back down to that wide stance. And again, crisscross the body and down. So you'll notice my knee turns out, my foot comes in. One more time and then changing sides. Bring the heel across the midline of the body towards the opposite shin. If this is uncomfortable for your hip, you can simply lift the knee up in place. And then back to the center again. Now toe heel walk your feet in. So toe heel walk means I pick up my toes, I turn them in. I pick up my heels, I turn them in. I pick up my toes, I come back to the center. Toe heel out. So toes, heels, and toes. And toe heel back in. One last time. And again, you're going to feel those ankles working, those hips working, all the way back to center. Taking one ankle, cross it now in front of the other, and just like a cricket, you're going to slide that heel up and down the shin bone very gently. Really gaining some good strength here for the hip and the muscles in the thigh. Once more. And then uncrossing, and we'll bring the opposite ankle across and sliding up and down and twice more one more time and bring that foot to the floor a little change in our base of support moving one foot forward one foot back we're going to just touch on this move a little bit because it again helps to strengthen the lower body and works towards being able to perform those sit to stands with more ease hands are on the armrest you're going to notice that the foot that's back a little further you feel a little more pressure um, making contact with the floor shift your body weight forward and push that foot that's closer to your chair into the floor and then shift the body weight back. Shift forward and back twice more. Notice the difference between the front leg and the back leg. Back to center, switch the foot position. So I'm going to bring the opposite foot forward. Now notice again that the leg that's closer to the back is going to feel more contact with the floor. Shifting forward and back. So you'll feel as if you're going to just start to rise up and out of that chair as you're building strength in that leg that's closer to the chair. And then return to the center and bring both feet a comfortable distance apart. Allow the arms to drop back down. I'm going to get a nice little stretch across the back by hinging forward from the hips let your forearms rest on your thighs. Take a few deep breaths here and let those muscles expand across your back, the back of the rib cage, the back of the hips. Then bring your body all the way up. Take the feet out just a tiny bit wider. I'm going to allow one forearm to rest on the thigh. Start with the fingertips on the hip of the opposite hand. Turn just slightly. Now, if you're comfortable here, you can lift the elbow like a marionette. And then, if you'd like to go one step further, allow that arm to lift with your palm facing me, like we're going to wave. That's opening up the whole side of the body. Bend the elbow and return the arm and lift the body up changing sides. So it's important for us to pay attention to the center of our body because much of the sit to stand function has to do with having a strong and agile core. So that's what we're working on here. Marionette elbow, arm coming up a little higher if that feels comfortable. Notice the stretch all through the side body 
and then bending that elbow and lowering the arm, returning to your center. We'll bring the legs in a little closer. We're almost through. Both hands on one leg. Sit tall, rotate, and return to the center. Next, we'll place both hands on the other leg. Sit tall, rotate, and return to the center. Allow the arms to drop. And how about if we finish with a few nice deep breaths? Now take a breath in, bend those elbows, and exhale. Now take a breath in, raise the arms forward and exhale and finally a breath in scoop up the sides lift the heart high and exhale allow those arms to drift all the way down that was a fantastic job i am so glad that you're committed to your exercise program keep practicing those sit to stands they're so essential to maintaining balance and managing fall risk have a healthy, happy day. Stay hydrated. Take care of yourself.